Hey guys, it's Sarah, and this week I want to talk about happiness. And so to me, happiness is based on your perspective. If you saw my testimony last week, you've seen that my life hasn't always gone the ideal way, and that's why I say that happiness is based on your perspective. I decided early on that I wasn't going to be bitter. The accident affected my life in so many ways that I couldn't control, but my attitude was something that I could control, and so I decided that it was going to be good. When dealing with the loss of my dad, I could have shut down, but I realized that if I became a bitter person, that the world not only lost one person, but it lost two. And that it was really such a blessing that I had even survived, that to live in any other way would be wasting it. I realized all of this at such a young age that by the time I was aware of the world around me, I had already formed all my views. And really for the better too, because the, the views of society did not align with mine. When I got to high school, I noticed that the overall tone was super negative. I'm someone who wakes up in a good mood because why wouldn't I? And then I'd get to school and I would go up to someone and ask how they were doing, and they'd just be like, it's morning. And I'd be like, yeah, it's morning. But by the end of the day, it ended up leaving me in a bad mood too because I was constantly surrounded by people shutting my happiness down. But instead of letting their bad mood affect mine, I decided that I wanted to be a light to them and make their day brighter. A lot of people look at my happiness and they almost don't get it. This isn't really the expected response from someone who has had their life drastically changed so suddenly. For me, happiness was always a choice. And um, really, I owe it all to my faith that this was the choice I made. Um, if it weren't for my faith, I think I would see my life the way that society says I should. And um, the way that society promotes. But... Yeah, so for me, it was always a choice, but I realized that sometimes it's not. And so if you are dealing with something like depression or anything like that, I encourage you to seek help because it doesn't have to be that way. It can be a choice for you, too. So I feel like the way that people live their lives is that if they have 90% of things to smile about and 10% of things to cry about, everyone just focuses in on that 10% instead of looking at the bigger picture. And really that's the key to happiness. These minor things in our lives shouldn't prohibit us from living them. So that's what I want to encourage you guys to do. Stop focusing on the minor things and start looking at the bigger picture and be grateful for that because there's so much more to smile about than there is to cry about. And um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you have seen my last video, my testimony, um, I'll link it below, but go watch that, go check that out, and subscribe for more. <laughs>